Hello. Hello. I'm not talking to you, really. I'm not really talking to you. I'm talking to the people. Yeah, you think I'm talking to you. Hello, Carol. Cheers. Hi, Patricia. It's five o'clock somewhere. Nobody wants to talk to you. If you don't hush, I'm going to have to lock you up. Oh, my goodness. Anybody want a cat real cheap? Hi, Sheila. <laughs> Hello, Max. Hi, Denise. Hello, um, Pam. Thank you for telling me that was your name. Lena. Hello, Lena. Okay, come up here. So maybe you can hush a little bit. Huh? Would you? <sighs> Hi, Tink. Paula. Paula. That's Paula, not Tink. Hello, JD. Malia? Is it Malia? Hi, Christy. It's the kitties. Yes, it's the kitties. Oh, they're being obnoxious, Barbara. Hello, Peggy. Hi, lovely Malia. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. I know, it's a surprise to me, too. Siri, go away. Theory, go away. Okay. Thank you. Sheila, well, I'm just I'm just here to do what I can. <laughs> and my phone wants to talk to me. Uh, just a second. I gotta I gotta post something. I just got a message on my phone. It's time to post something. So we'll have to do that before we can do anything else. How are you guys doing? Our virtual lunch was very good. It was very good. And out of six people, five of them managed to get there. We lost one in translation somewhere. But I thought it's the first time that this group has tried this because it's always an in-person lunch group. And we get together once a month. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Cindy. Oh, Cindy. You're the one that asked the question. Um, oh, your kitty's about to have kittens, Malia. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Sorry, just a second. Let me get this posted. Um, quit. You're, any of you that have animals, do they just insist upon rubbing their heads on you when you're trying to do something? Yeah. So sorry, I should have had this done already, except I had to restart my computer because you don't need to know why. I just had to restart the computer, that's all. When that happens, then I have to reset up cameras. It's a good time. So anyway, that took a minute. It took a minute. Could you... Could you please just quit touching me for a minute? It's like your kids. Sometimes you just go, could stop touching me. You know, when they're when they're standing there going like this on your leg. And you go, stop. You go, stop. And finally you say, stop touching me for a minute. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, stop touching me for a minute. Right? Stop touching me for a minute. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay. Um, so I'm just looking at the chat for a minute. Hi, Cheryl. 
Oh, oh. I know, Christy. I know. I love those names, though. Jake and Elwood. That's great. <laughs> oh, no. When Dixie had toilet paper, who ever thought that we would be celebrating that? <laughs> there was a thing on Twitter today. I don't know if you guys are Twitter people or not. I have to I have to look this up. Do you see this? Do you see I'm not paying enough attention? <laughs> so his foot is on me. Let me show you what this looks like. Yeah, from a different angle. This is what this looks like. He's just he's just here. Ah, quit quit licking me. This is why they have to be locked in the other room. They will be locked. They will be locked in the other room tomorrow. <laughs> um, yes, I am, Joyce. Occasionally, um, I work in the old ledger journal. Not very often because the paper is so fragile that um, I have to really be careful. Once I get enough stuff on it, it gets thickened up and it works really well. But sometimes it's like, oh, I just get tired of it. You know what I mean? Um <laughs> Chewing on your nose. Uh, oh, come on. I'm trying to get my likes to come up on Twitter. For some reason, Twitter is... Once it comes up, I'll read the thing to you. It was so funny. <clears throat> yeah, they do. This one tries to knock the phone out of my hand, too. Really obnoxious. <coughs> hmm. Uh, Twitter must be having a... Here it is. Okay. <clears throat> Janice Johnson retweeted this. It uh, was originally tweeted from Nessa and Macy Doodle. At Doodle... I don't know what, what it is. Anyway, <laughs> this is what it says. I don't know if this is true or not, by the way. Don't know if it's true. <clears throat> I'm at the store, and this guy has a full buggy of toilet paper, wipes, sanitizer, etc., I told him how selfish he was, how others really needed these products, and he should be ashamed. He looked me in the eyes and then said, quote, Are you done? Because I really need to finish stocking the shelves. <laughs> you guys, that is funny. I don't care who you are. You got to laugh at that. <laughs> you got to laugh at that. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Robin. <laughs> No, it's Friday tomorrow, actually. Friday is tomorrow, not today. Um, put your rear end down. Nobody wants to see your butt up in the air. Um, oh, he is happy, Christy. He is happy, and that's why he gets to be up here, because he's happy. And also, I think if I pet him enough, then he'll go away and leave me alone. Look how dandruff he is. Dry. Skin dry. Dry skin. Hello, Gail. Hello, Mary, um, and anybody that I miss saying hello to, welcome, welcome. My name's Barb. If you're new around here or you're new to me, my name is Barb. This is Chance, the dandruffy cat. <laughs> Say hello to the world. Say hello, world. <laughs> he says, no, just scratch my head. So says, just scratch my head. Oh, I know. So maybe I can get him to leave me alone here in a minute. So I had a virtual lunch today with some friends, and um, that was really, it actually was very nice. Out of six of us, five of us were there. The sixth one, I don't know what the problem was. But, um, oh, this thing. Hello, IB Elf. I don't know what your name is. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> So, I thought maybe what we would do is see if we can finish the relatives that we started last Friday. No, you're not going to drink my coffee. He was looking at my cup. He was getting ready to put his face in my cup. I've talked so much off and on today that my, um, my voice is a little... <clears throat> Hello, Shelly. Um, my voice is a little craggy, so there may be a lot of throat clearing tonight. Your kids, your kids never loved you like your cats do. <laughs> but he does the same thing to me that my son used to do with, to me when he's little. He'll take his little paw. He probably won't do it now. 
but he'll get his paw and he'll and he'll tap me like this he'll tap me or he'll be on the chair behind me and he'll reach around me with his paw you know tapping tapping it's like oh chance you got to leave me alone for a while ah. <clears throat> uh no it's uh the cough is the cough from talking too much Yeah, I stream at 2 p.m. Eastern on Fridays. Although I've been streaming a lot this week because it's something I can do, you know. Believe me, I've got a ton and a half of things that I should be doing. <laughs> but instead, I'm here with you because it's something I can do. Yeah, somebody get the toilet paper. I'm coughing. That's right. <clears throat> Malia, now that's just downright. I don't know what. So if the sun, if all of a sudden everything lights up in here, it's because the sun has finally come out for the first time all day today. We went for a walk this afternoon. It was misting rain and blowing. It wasn't cold, fortunately, but it was misting rain and blowing. We went for a walk. It's like, we don't even care. That's why I look so nice, because my hair kind of got from the mist. <clears throat> you closed your piano studio i didn't robin i didn't realize you were a piano um that you had a piano studio i was a piano teacher for a long time too i surely was till i got sick of the parents <laughs> all right can you go lay down the sun i think the sun's coming in the window if you hurry you'll get some of it could you Ah, uh, anybody want a cat real cheap? Anybody want a cat real cheap? Where's Dee Dee? Where's Inky Well? You'll fit in a box. I know you'll fit in a mailing box. I know you would. In a shipping box. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if you can go lay down somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm full of cat hair, but that's okay. You don't, anybody allergic to cat hair? Consider yourself warned. Okay, so shall we do finish this page? Or I don't know if we'll finish it. We'll just do some. We'll do it till I get tired of it. How's that? Um, I think Clausman might be here. I'm not sure. Clausman, are you here watching? Hi, Debbie. You try me some toilet paper for him. <laughs> Debbie, do not tempt me. Do not tempt me. <laughs> do not tempt me. <laughs> okay. So I see that Nightbot is busy giving you messages. Clausman's here. Okay, thank you. Somebody else has set Nightbot up for me, so I'm always, I'm just as surprised as you are as to what Nightbot shows us. Okay, so you want to, you want to watch us, you want to watch me do some stuff on the relatives? Yes? Mm -hmm. I know, Robin, right? Happy spring to you as well, Jill. Okay, so let's look. Let's see what we got here. Hmm? So we have relatives. So if you weren't here earlier this week, <laughs> you missed the finishing of... Hello, Ellie. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's back. If this gets too out of hand, I'll throw him in the other room. Like I said, tomorrow when I have my regular stream, he won't be in here, but I kind of feel bad throwing him in there tonight. Okay, so relatives. Relatives. So if you weren't here earlier, we uh, finished working on... We finished working on these. I'm just going to back out so that you can... So that you can see, let's go in a little bit. If 
I can get in here enough. Not quite that much. Just trying to get where you can see them and you can see me. He does have needs, Ellie. He does. And we don't always see eye to eye on how to solve his problems. Okay. So, um, anyway, we finished up giving, uh, discovering their personalities earlier this week. And then I cut out um, ovals for the back. So they'll kind of, we'll pretend they're picture frames, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ovals on here that... It's, it's going to simulate something between a picture frame and a... Usually I don't do a double page spread in this journal, but for some reason that's the way this turned out. So, picture frames and just a mat or something behind them. So, I'm just going to kind of set these up a little bit and then we'll just glue them onto the page. And I'm trying to think, do I want to put any stenciling on here? I don't think so. I think we're just going to go for it. Because, you know, I'm not really in the mood to dig through the stencils and all that. So, let's just kind of get these guys kind of arranged in here. I want these two to kind of go together because they belong to them. Chance, knock it off. I'm telling you, Siamese cat for sale real cheap. <laughs> I could, um, close, this is a very bad rug hairdo, hairdo that he's got going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so here they are. So we have a family group here. We don't know who they are yet. We haven't named them. But there's this family group. There's this family group. And then the two, um, I, I don't know if they're related to each other or not. I don't know. So, so what I did was I took some ovals. I just have a set of ovals here. And I backed them on plastic and um, I made them in different sizes, so I have different sizes of ovals. And then I just cut out whatever seems right. Sorry, I'm not even looking at you. <clears throat> oh, well, these these will make up for that, Ellie. These will make up for that. Okay, so... Um, yeah. Okay, so let's put some... You got okay. All right, he's going in the other room. I can't deal with him. I can't deal with you. You're just too obnoxious. You're too obnoxious. Mm -hmm. You're too obnoxious. Go in there with Charlie. Yeah, go in there with Charlie. Sorry, but you can't come out because you're obnoxious. Now he'll sit at the door and he'll cram his mouth up against the crack of the door and he'll go, because that's what he always does. <sighs> Mercy. Okay, so let's stop talking about Chance and my personal issues with Chance's mouth. And let's just... This is black paper. It's not cardstock. It is paper, text weight paper. See, he's at the door. Can you hear him? Mournful. Mournful and pathetic. He's at the door. Telling you that his life is terrible and it's all my fault. It's all my fault. That I make his life miserable. All right, so because this is paper, I am using a silicone glue to um, put it down. That way, that way it doesn't wrinkle as much. Mm -hmm. I do, well, because I got a whole ream of it. 
um, Ellie. I got a whole ream of it. It's a lot of pieces of paper. It was the only way that was reasonable to buy it was by the ream. So yeah, I do have a lot of this paper. So So when you have a lot of paper, you got to make something out of it. So I've made cards, I've made a book, I've made two other books. You know, I've made two other books, this one and this one. And now we've got mats for our relatives. So there you go. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's my fault. It's always my fault. Always my fault. So anyhow, as I said, this is um, silicone glue. This is three in one. Beacon three in one. And I'm using this because I didn't want to get out tape and because I also didn't want to get out glue stick. Glue stick would be my other choice. Um, sometimes the silicone glue, if you don't get it on, if you don't get it down quickly enough, it dries on the paper and that's not good. I like this dude. I like this dude. He he got he got tattoos to match his shirt. <laughs> He's a flower child or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he is. Okay, let's do this one. Oh goodness, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good, uh, uh, the day is as good for you as it possibly can be. This morning I watched a little bit of APG Jamie and she was streaming. And so I got to see her. That was fun. I didn't get to see all of it, but I got to see some of it. And then I had a virtual lunch, and then I did some work, and then I took a break, and I did some knitting, and I took a walk. <clears throat> and yeah, overall, it has been, and then we went and got a coffee at Starbucks, and you can't stay there, so we brought it home. We have, for years, um, had coffee every afternoon. We started that as a tradition years ago that we would leave no matter what we would meet and have coffee in the afternoon and <clears throat> of course since all of this erupted that took care of that it's because there's no place you can sit in this town anymore because it they've removed all the chairs and tables in every restaurant but so far the coffee places are still open so we can at least ride in the car together go get the coffee and <laughs> come back yeah, so it, it is a it's an interesting time that we're all experiencing, and I think we're going to discover some interesting things about ourselves and others. And I choose I I take the news in small doses. I listen to it just enough to go, okay, that's the way things are now. Okay, that's the way things are now. And then I turn it off as soon as they start rep repeating. It's like, I'm done. Hello, Dorothy, locked down in your house. Hi, Tori. I don't, Ellie, I'm going to show my ignorance here. I don't know. I don't know what that is. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing, doing well today. I hope you're doing well. The only reason I'm turning these back and forth is because I have pencil. I drew around the ovals with pencil. And graphite shines on, on black paper or cardstock. 
And so I'm just turning it over so I don't make life any harder for myself because I don't certainly want to get out an eraser and erase that pencil. That would be just way too, that's asking way too much. And if they go down and they're not straight, it's an art journal page. It's just an art journal page. Oh, a big Roman party with lots of wine and dancing girls. I should probably know that. I should probably know that. <laughs> Robin is discovering things at the back of her freezer. Yep, for reals. Today, I, I was communicating with someone online, and she asked me how my pantry was. <laughs> I was just like, wasn't that a great question? How's your pantry? <laughs> that was nice. That was really nice. It was a nice question. Ni nice for somebody to ask me that. I'm not straight up over this, so it's hard for me to... And that's probably up a little bit higher, but that's okay. We'll put his hair up higher. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, um, do you have enough, um, enough thing projects to keep you busy? Those of you who are sequestered at home, I know that there are people in the group who are still able to get out and work or are required to get out and work so those of you who are not working are you finding enough things to keep you busy keep your hands busy and your mind busy that silicone glue is nice it lets that paper go down flat I'm telling you flat Pecker die. Hello. Pecker dies in the house, you guys. That is Diane Fago. Pecker die. Cheers, 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 Diane. <laughs> it's so good to see you too. I see you've been streaming. Malia's been doing farm stuff. Whew. Mm. Hey, harvesting images and gluing is great. Mm-hmm. Diane, how are the kids doing? We're just over here creating a new family. Do you need some? You need, do, you, do you want any of these guys to be your virtual boyfriend? Hello, Lori. I know. You know what? When I, we were walking in the neighborhood today, there is a, this, in the area where I live, the flowering trees are just getting ready to bloom, which means there's going to be plenty of allergy stuff. So that means there are going to be lots of people sneezing and coughing and everybody's going to be going, oh no, oh no, which, because, you know, um, legitimately. Anyway. Up the block from us, just a block away, there is the most, it's an old tree. It has been through the mill a few times, and it's a magnolia tree, and it's just ready to burst into bloom. I would guess tomorrow or the next day, it's going to be in full bloom. Unless we get a cold snap, which is not atypical. Um, we certainly could get a cold snap here. I hope we don't, because it doesn't care. It's going to bloom. It wants to, and that's that. Yeah. Ellie's magnolias are in full bloom. Yeah. Um, you're trying to stream on your old webcam. What? Copyright strike you for what? What would they copyright? What would copyright strike you? Did you have music going? Hmm. I don't know. Dorothy always has all kinds of things to do. 
homeschooling a grandson for the next month. Good, Debbie. Good. Homeschooling, homeschooling is a job. We did it for three years. I know. <clears throat> Hidden blessing. Hey, Brenda. Wow. Bless your heart, Brenda. I am trying to unload Chaz, but Diane can't have him because she's allergic to cats. <laughs> Mary, Mary says, weed's growing, chicken's laying, cow just had a calf. Yep. Oh, that is just bizarre. I don't know what that would... Was that just today, Diane? Because I know you've been on several times this week. They just do it today. <sighs> Any hoot. Diane, you still have your dog, the golden? Oh, man, it's warm in here. <sighs> warm in here. Okay, so I'm going to take the relatives off. So we're going to take the relatives off. Now we have the uh, mats down. So we got the mats on the on the background. And I thought we would do some frames around that. Yes, you still have your golden. Do you follow the golden ratio for? Hi, Sherry. Oh, Siri's going to have a cow again. Siri, go away. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Every time I say hello to S-H-E-R-R-Y, my phone has a fit. Okay, so anyway, um, this is, we're sort of patterning this, um, this page in this journal. Apparently, apparently what I do is I create a, a new family in every journal. That must be what I do because this is the second or third time I've done this. It's very sad when you have to spell someone's name in your own stream because of, you know, who. It's over here. Anyway, so I thought maybe we would put picture frame um, designs around these. What do you think? Should we do that? Should we do that? Okay, so um, in case you haven't seen the, this particular group, you haven't seen this particular family. Look, we have family everywhere. I have families in many journals. Yes, I do. I have I have one. I don't know where she. I don't know where that. I, let me go see if I can find this journal. Everybody, hang on a minute. Hi, Rhonda. Rhonda, did you find any toilet paper? You think I'm kidding about having relatives in um, <laughs> and you did Rhonda oh good I feel better now okay here they are how could I open this right to the page okay so there's mama and her boys so they live in this one in this journal Mama and her boys. You start seeing some repetition in the characters, but they still all seem to maintain their own personality some way, somewhat. So anyway, um, this is the friends are God's apology for your family. <laughs> I just love that quote. It's Wayne Dyer. And this over here, so this is from Tim Holtz, one of his word things. If you met my family, you would understand. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Anyway, okay. 
So I'm going to put this off to the side because I may just not... Um, this is one of my favorite pages in here too. I love these pages. I did these on stream here with you guys. I love these pages. Anyway, okay. Let's go back to where we were. I'm going to set this off to the side. And... Shall we do gold? Shall we do gold around this? You tell me what you think. I think I have gold and I think I have silver. And then of course I have colors, but colors probably won't show up. I have gold. Let's see if I can find silver. I may not be able to put my hand on silver. Oh, I have silver. It's, the marker's too big though. Um, I do have glitter pens, but they're, they don't show up so much. If you're talking to me, I'm digging in my pens a moment. Can't find the silver. So we're going to have to go with gold. So you may have voted, but you're going to get overruled because... Yeah, because I'm going to take myself out of the picture because my nose is running. <clears throat> I have a ton of baby blanket flannel, flannel. No need to stock up on toilet paper. I'll cut it in squares. <laughs> there you go, Diane. There you go. <laughs> okay. Back to... Us. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do gold because that's what I have. It's what I can find. Gold and black. It should be okay, don't you think? My house is such a disaster because I have spent so many hours here this week. Do you not feel sorry for me? If you do, don't. Forget about it. It's my choice to be here. Mm-hmm. So Diane, did you say that you watch, you follow the Golden Ratio Four? If you don't, you should follow them on Instagram and Twitter and so forth. Gilded frames that class them up. <laughs> Hi Sheila, you're glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm here too. All right, let's do some frames. Um, all right, we may just pick one style and do them all the same. That way I don't have to think. And if I don't have to think, it's all much better if I don't have to think. You can't see that. Is that what I used on this? I'm trying to figure out what... I used, I must have used a gold paint pen on this other one because it's showing up better than this. Let's try this big gold paint pen. Maybe it will, maybe this will. Pardon me while I uh, figure out what I'm going to use for the gold. Let's see, what about this one? I have lots of gold pens. Nope. I don't want that one. I like it more of a yellow gold. The Golden Ratio 4. They're um, a couple that have five golden retrievers. Five. And um, they do a lot of rescue work. So, or foster and rescue. And they do a podcast also. All right, we're going to do this color gold because I like that. Um, yeah, they have a podcast also. And they have a new dog that was originally a foster. And they um, have adopted him. And his name is Guacamole. And guacamole had a bad day. I think it was last week. He had a bad day. And uh, 
You really need to listen to their podcast. I don't know why my nose is deciding to... We're going to blame it on the trees. Anyway, if you don't follow them, um, I recommend them, especially their podcast is, to me, is a lot of fun. They are much, much younger than I am, and every once in a while, <laughs> every once in a while, she'll, she makes a crack about older people, and you just can't, if you're older than she is, you just can't take it personally. Because you know what? Here's one thing I've discovered. Everybody everybody gets uh if you live long enough you're gonna be there too and none of us ever think when we're young young that we're gonna be in that age group anyway i just was thinking about it because diane had a golden and we've had several Goldens. We had a Golden Irish Setter mix. He was a great dog. His name was Bo. Okay, so there's... So you got the idea about what I'm doing. So I'm going to go out so you can... You got the idea. And then we'll add some more stuff to it as we go. But I'm just going to get the frames on it to start with. Hello, Krissa. 1 a.m. Hi, Linda McAllister. A hairless baby calf. Oh, my goodness. And it's cute. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm just... So, Bo came to live with us. He was a 10-week-old puppy. I was gone out of town. Um, came home, and Claus Man and Race... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about the throat. Too much talking. Um, Race was still at home at that point. And while I was gone... <clears throat> Really, I am sorry about the throat. I don't know what why it's being annoying. Hopefully, I'll get over it by tomorrow so I don't do this all through the regular stream tomorrow. Um, so anyway, they found somebody that had puppies and came home, and we had a 10-week-old puppy, and his name was Bo, and he was a quarter Irish setter, I think, and three-quarters golden retriever. But let me tell you, that dog got big. He was a big boy before it was over with. Such a sweet personality. Such a sweet personality. You've got the mask on? Okay, good. Okay. I keep going away so you don't have to see me wipe my nose. When I do an impromptu stream, you just have to take me as I are because I am uh, It's not anything I put a lot of thought into it. It's just and I'm here just because I thought it would be something to entertain people. Hopefully that's what it does. Okay, so can you kind of see the frames there? We'll make them show up a little bit more in a little bit. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. And I realize there's some gold paint on the edge, but, you know, we'll deal with it. When in doubt, add more. When in doubt, add more. You're working on some goofy peeps? Oh, good. Yeah, this, this setter was, um, because he was only a quarter Irish setter and he was mostly golden retriever, he was such a love of a dog. But he was big. He was tall. And he was more more an Irish setter color. Some Irish setters are not super bright. I don't know why. I had a friend who raised Irish setters and 
She really didn't ever have any that were really terribly bright. And she would even say that. And I don't know why that was. But anyway, um, our bow was a pretty sharp guy. Mostly what he was the best at was just loving his people. And he could not be any better than that. And he used to sleep in our bedroom. We don't have him anymore. He died a few years ago. Um, he would sleep on my side of the bed on the floor. Or sometimes he'd sleep on Claus Man's side of the bed. And if Claus Man got up in the night or in the morning and then he was going to come back to bed for a little bit, Bo would just... He would, boy, he, he knew when that was happening, and he would just slither right up into the bed. And Clausman would come back to bed, and there would be this big old red head right on his pillow. And it was a dog. It wasn't a person. <laughs> I made a goofy peep that looks like a goofy pet. Well, good. Good. That's cool. Goofy peeps and their pets. So this is kind of like doing um, any other doodle stuff. You just start and you just see where it takes you. You know, you just see where it takes you. Oh, and this one's on top, so we're going to have to come on around here because this one is on top of the other one which looks goofier and I'll get out but that's all right you know it's an art journal page I just you can't sweat over art journal pages in my opinion some people do some people make them works of art not mentioning any names Diane Packard I but um yeah just I don't just don't worry about it. I just, you know, if it doesn't turn out right, it doesn't turn out right. I'm going to tell you, in, in a few weeks, I'll look back at this and I won't even know what it was I didn't like about it. <clears throat> Hello, Zero Gravity. I don't think I've seen your name before. Okay, I'm going to know what I did with the lid for this. Oh, there, there it is on the floor. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> you didn't do anything, Diane. I was just teasing you. Just teasing you. Now I'm trying to get my pen straightened out because I got it flowing with too much paint. All right, hopefully it's going to work. Let's find out. Don't push. Whatever you do, don't push. I depressed the tip of the marker and so I got a little too much gold flowing out. A little too much. So that's going to take a fat minute for that to dry. <clears throat> I 
Okay. So, that's going to take a minute for that to dry. So, um, yes. We all have our words that are our thinking words. You ruined all your white uniball pins? Well, that's not too hard to do, really. Hi, Joni. Johnny, Joni. <laughs> and Zero Gravity with Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Welcome. Hi, Anne. Having a coffee break. Okay. What type of black paper? It's just black text paper for this. I got a whole ream of it. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do now, just so they'll show up, I'm going to use a black pen <clears throat> as soon as I find one. <laughs> As soon as I find one. Actually, one of my favorite things to use that's something that's relatively new to me. Do I want to use these? Hmm. No, I'm not. I was going to use glaze pens, but that, that dries slowly too. So I'm going to just go to this black pen. And I'm going to turn this so my hand's not in it. So what I'm going to do is make these... Um, this frame business show up, hopefully. So, it's, as I said a little bit ago, this is very much like doodling. So, <clears throat> you just start. I do, anyway. I just start, and I just see how it's going to come out. And if I look like I'm at an awkward angle, it's because I am. So when I do this stuff, um, the you know, this kind of playing around, I just go till something, till it feels done to me. And sometimes that is... Sometimes that takes a while. I want you to see the, give you a close-up of some of these frames. I don't know whether you can see. Can you see all the, all the stuff that's in there? You know, there's a lot of little doodahs in those frames. And I just do them till I get something I like. So sometimes that may take me four or five different ideas. And my attention span um, kind of doesn't allow me to uh, necessarily go all the same direction and complete the whole thing, you know, going one way. So I'll go one way for a while, then I'll go the other way for a while. So I'm just going to color on top of the gold that I slopped up on top of the black paper. And I may have to come back and touch that up a little bit more, but so anyway, Bo, back to Bo, our uh, Golden Retriever Irish Setter Mix. Um, he, he went to obedience training, and my husband trained him. And he had a best friend. He started as a puppy in puppy. It was called Puppy Kindergarten. cat hair on my pen and he had a best friend who was an Airedale and her name was Nell and those two dogs would just about turn inside out when they'd see each other from the time they were puppies until they uh, 
they no longer were in class together. It's really, <clears throat> it's really fun when you see animals develop friendships like that. At least it is for me. Okay, I gotta stay away from this over here because it still could be wet. I'm trying to keep this where you can see it. And this uh, paper that I'm working on, the surface of this paper is watercolor paper. And it is, it's rough. It is rough. Uh, uh. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. Hi, Colleen. Yeah, I, uh, that one of the advantages for all of this stuff going on is um, that I've just been streaming this week. I'm not sure, well, I'm thinking very seriously about recording a live course next week. I haven't got the details ironed out yet. You'd think I would if I'm going to do it next week. You'd think I'd have that all ironed out, but... Sometimes everything's kind of in a weird holding pattern. So if things come together the way I think they're going to come together, I'll stream probably two days on the course so people can watch while I record the video. And then later I will take that Take those recordings and edit them and okay it seems to be dry and do all this magic that has to go on behind the scenes to make it into a real course but it would be something i could do you know i could do um something for the viewers it would give you some place to hang out and some place, you know, somebody to watch. It is going to be all different kinds of mandalas. So if that's not your thing, it's not your thing. But we're going to do some that are, are different. Uh, the recordings will not be left on YouTube, however. You'll have to be live. You'll have to be present in order to see the to see what I'm doing because I will not leave them on YouTube. So anyway, I haven't got the details ironed out. Once I do, I will do a whole separate recording. I hope to have it ironed out by tomorrow so I can talk about it on the the live regular live stream. Well, it looks kind of cute-ish. Don't you think it's kind of cute? Hi, Alicia. I know. Surprise, surprise, right? Um, you know, here's the other thing that I'm really tempted to do. Shall we do one to see if we like it? We'll do one. If I don't like it, then we'll call it and say, no, don't do that. What do you think? I think I'm liking it. I think I like it. Do you like that? Not that I'm going to pay attention to what you say, but you never know. I might. <laughs> I always like it when when people ask for the opinion of the viewers, and then they go right off in their own direction, like they never ask the question, you know. They ask a question. It's like, it's like you're processing out loud. So you ask the question and you do what you darn well please. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking about doing. And if that ends up to be that, I'll probably stream and record the classes um, for the course twice a week and then still have the regular stream on Friday. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
Mandalas are calming for me. Now, they might not be for you, but they are for me. So it just feels like the right time to do this. And if I do it live, then uh, then people can watch and get the benefit. And you can take, you know, take notes. And um, you can do stuff if you want. And we will be setting it up for a donation. So if people want to make a donation, they can. Um, you're not required to. <clears throat> but it would be really great because then that encourages me to keep showing up and um, and it supports the channel which is really appreciated so that looks kind of good you like that i think i like it i think i like that that's upside down but i think i like that black and gold who was it said black and gold was it robin said black and gold jean does what yeah, she asked the question. Is that what you mean? She asked the question and does her own thing. We'll get this side done and then we'll um, we'll put the relatives over here and see how they look. See if they approve, huh? So anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. So, like I said, you would not be required to make a donation in order to watch. It just would be appreciated if you did. How's that? Okay, let's do one more. Let's do this one. I'm liking it, people. My gold pen was getting dry over here, so um, this frame has some age on it. <laughs> it's a little cracked. Mary likes, hi Janice, Mary likes lots of gold. She likes gold. She does. She likes gold. She likes gold a lot better than I like gold. When I was in high school, I fell in love with white gold. So, I had several small pieces of jewelry like a bracelet and a necklace and they probably weren't even they probably weren't even the real deal but you know I like to pretend that they were white gold and then I changed to yellow gold I don't ask me why don't know okay all right so there are these picture frames, okay, on this side. So let's put the relatives and see how they like it, shall we? Dawn, let's make a mess. Dawn, hello. Everybody streaming right now? Oh, wow. Patty, Tolly Parish, Pink Poodle. That's good. And Dawn just got finished streaming. Very good. I don't have any white gold from that era. The big hippie glasses, the big those big glasses. I have pictures of those. Probably not of the white gold though. Okay, these guys are over here. So let's try them. Let's try them out. Oh, the picture frame matches his hairdo. The picture frame matches his hairdo. Okay, where'd you two go? One, this guy. Here he is. What do you think? <laughs> and then we'll have to do something. We'll do a quote or I'll do something in there. I don't know if I'll do it. I won't do it tonight, but I'll put something in here. I, I think this looks like an old wall that somebody took a paint roller and they rolled it on there. Hey, Becky. Yeah, 
got to fill up the time. Is Azure here? Hi, Azure. Azure is, gosh, you'd think I'd remember. Let me see. I know I have your name on here somewhere. By the time I find it, she's already going to put Diane. She's already going to put it in the chat. <laughs> we may have to give them names, you know? May have to give them names. Shelly's going to stream too. Oh, that's good. Crafting Mama's Shelly. Is that the Shelly you're talking about? Okay. Do you like them? Do you think they're good? You think you think that their frames do them justice? <laughs> One of the things I like to do is to add even more, but you know, because more is more for the relatives. More is more for the relatives. Okay, so let's finish these guys over here. And I wish I hadn't put this on here. Do I have black? We'll just take that off. Mm -hmm. We'll just take that off. Sometimes I do things that I go, oh, it was a good idea in the thought stage, but then, then it was like a big mistake. Now, I'll probably have a black stripe there, but we don't care about that. At least that part's gone. So, by the time we stick somebody in the frame, it'll be okay. Sometimes you just got to change your mind. And here's the other thing. If all else fails, I'll cut another piece of black paper and just glue it on top of that. That's probably what's going to happen. It's probably what's going to have to happen... Yeah, because that's going to dry and look terrible. So, Dawn, how are things in your neck of the woods? I haven't watched any of your videos for a little bit. I am ashamed to say. Sometimes I put videos on and uh, then I go to sleep to them. I've done that to Aunt Beck's videos before. <laughs> Not that you're boring, Aunt Beck. It's just you have a great voice to just soothe me into La La Land. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. If you sit on here, we might put him on there and then give him a long dangly earring. He'll cover it up. Yeah, it's all right. See, that's you just go with the flow, people. Just go with the flow. As good as it can be okay well it's kind of faded out now so you don't see much of it so it's okay but you made a mess and it was fun good good <laughs> if you get to catch Mary oftentimes you you wake to her signing off that Mary I'm telling you she's like some other people Stacy of Pink Poodle Crafts, she's one of those. Those, and I think there's Emily Welda, is she another one? Those girls can go for hours. I'm telling you, my voice can't hold out. You, you heard me a little while ago coughing and clearing my throat and all that stuff. Now, see, it's gone away now. The coughing is in the throat clearing thing. Now, since I called attention to it, it'll come back, but... 
Um, I don't know how they do it. When you can stream for all that time, and, and those guys on Twitch, oh my gosh, that can do gaming and talking for, you know, hours and hours and hours. I don't know how they do it. My voice can't hold up. My body and my voice, my attention, let's be honest, my attention span can't take it. Um, on top of that, I have a business and I have to deal with stuff. I have to deal with stuff. We're not going to make these too fancy because I'm just doing them with you guys just to have something to do. They do stream forever. I don't know how they do it. I do not know how they do it. I really don't. You ended up with only two Tada pages. Hi, Noeet. <laughs> is it Friday yet? It is not Friday yet. Noeet, it has got to be late where you are. What time is it there? I'm just here to entertain the troops. Just here to entertain the troops. I haven't come up with a good story to tell yet. What kind of story do you want to hear? I used to be accused of being a good storyteller, which I didn't even know that I could tell a good story. I should have known that because I wrote the story of my family situation. Taking care of my parents. Oh, I am so grateful that I'm, I'm not a caregiver right now. God bless the people who are trying to be caregivers and take care of everything and themselves. And, oh, man, my heart goes out to caregivers everywhere, whether they're family caregivers or health care caregivers, first responders. My heart goes out to them. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Oh, no, it's counting sheep. Okay. That's probably a good thing to do. Probably a good thing to do. Okay, so let's do this one. So if you all get tired of this, um, you can find somebody else to watch. You know what I mean? <laughs> good night, Linda. I hope you get good sleep. Okay, so let's keep going. Colleen, are you streaming in the morning tomorrow? She usually streams on Friday morning, I think. Am I right? I love the background of this. Man, that was the fastest background ever with Dilusions paints that are mostly dry, but still had a little life in them, and I just swiped them on that background. I love the way that turned out, by the way. Isn't that the, isn't that the way it is? You do something that you're trying to salvage something. You go, oh, I'm just going to slap this on here and move on. And then you get done, you go, man, I wish I could do that again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, good luck with that. You can't re replicate the materials, let alone... Yes, 10 a.m. Eastern. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that, Brenda. Yeah. Scary. Uh, just in so many on so many levels. I did not realize that, Brenda. I hope you are. doing well as well as you can sometimes sometimes life is 
difficult. What a dumb understatement. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I surprise myself at my own stupidity. So you, one of the things you guys could do if you want is see if you can come up with a quote that we could stick on this page. And because there's a lot of space, it could be fairly long. Good night, Anne. Oh, I don't think Anne was leaving. I think it was just Linda that was leaving. Keeping busy. Good. That's probably good. Are you doing art? Are you doing some art? Or something creative? I hope you are. I started knitting again after a long vacation from it because I had a knitting store where we sold European knitting machines and classes and books and all that kind of stuff. And after I closed the store, I took a break from all that fibery yarn kind of stuff. And so I started knitting again. Yeah, you know, because actually what happened was I started watching. It's all Christy Glass's problem, fault. Not problem, it's her fault. Christy Glass has a YouTube channel. And I, I don't know, for some reason, somebody said her name. And so I went and looked her up. And I'm like, so I started following her channel. And um, she interviews all kinds of people. And I love to see who she interviews and where she goes and all that kind of stuff. And somehow then YouTube suggested Arna and Carlos, who are two guys in Norway. And I'm going to tell you, if you watch a certain subject... You know, creative subject, at least it works like this for me. If I watch a creative subject long enough, it's going to get me. It's going to get me. <clears throat> and it did, so I started knitting again, which I'm really glad that I did. But the yarn that I'm working right now has made my finger, it's making my finger break out. I'm like, ah. So I don't really know what's causing the breakout, but something is. And... Um, so I'm having to not, I, I can knit for a while, then I have to take a break, you know, because I got to let it have a rest. I even got some stuff to wrap it up today, but did I wrap it up? No, no, I didn't wrap it up. I just knit without it. <sighs> Nobody accu ever accused me of being the brightest crayon in the box. But it is nice. I'm really enjoying it. I'm making a... I knitted a couple of scarves called the Hitchhiker Scarf. I think I've shown those. And I am doing um, this shawl. And um, mostly because I the reason I'm doing these particular things is so that I don't have to uh, fit them. <laughs> fitting Ugh. not my forte so um i'm just rambling as i think of something to talk about but man have the yarns come a long way since i was hand knitting as a when i learned as a kid oh my goodness the yarns have come a long way they're just amazing the one I'm knitting with right now is wool and silk, and it is gorgeous. Gorgeousness. It started with 14 stitches, and I'm now up to almost 300 stitches, I think. It is a lot of stitches in one row. At first, man, it goes so fast, you know what I mean? 
goes so fast. And then you get enough of those um, increases and it's like, whoo. It's really pretty. It's um, denim colors. Gosh, I wonder why. Because I wear the same thing every day. Well, the other... Um, one of the scarves I did was 100% wool. And I had absolutely no problem doing that. So there may be something in particular in the processing of this, this wool. You know, some kind of dye or processing or whatever. So I think it it seems to be peculiar. And it's not... The, here's the weird thing. It's only on this finger right here. It's not on any of the rest of my fingers. It's only on this one. This one that's going crooked. <laughs> this finger is taking a, a right turn. Isn't it weird when you look at... Isn't it weird when you look at your body sometimes and you go, Well, it didn't look like that yesterday. I wonder when that happened. Wayne Dyer used to say that. Um, he was bald. And he said when his hair was coming out, he'd see hair on his pillow. And he said it always made him think, well, I wonder what held it in yesterday. <laughs> so I think that about some things. Because you get to a certain point in your life and, and your body sort of starts doing weird stuff. And you're like, hmm. I didn't expect that to happen. I like these frames. I like how they're turning out. And that was just, you know, it was just one of those things where it just started and see where it went. It's going in a good spot. Did anybody come up with a quote? Hi, Bev. You only use cotton now. Oh, that's neat, Brenda. She paints rocks and abandons them to be found. Oh, that's great. You haven't knitted more than three decades, no eat? Uh, I really like it. Desert Nana. <laughs> the middle finger of your right hand. Oh, that's funny. I feel funny calling you Desert Nana. Do you want is that what you want to be called? Or do you want us to call you by a different name? It's totally up to you. Whatever you'd like. I can spend more time looking for quotes. I have a whole book of quotes. I have several, actually. This is one, one book of quotes. It's not a very big book. Mary Beth. MB. You mean, are you MB, the MB that we used to know? Are you the MB that we used to know that always went by that? Or are you a different one? Are you MB from the Ustream days? Ow, oh, MB. Why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you tell me that? You went all this time with me calling you Desert Nana. I probably did know that at some point. Uh, but this little book has quotes in it. It's just a little junk journal that I made a long time ago um, with leftover security envelopes. Wow, I'm sorry that I didn't ever... Um, that I forgot. I'm sorry I forgot. Anyway, this has some of my favorite quotes in it. And it's like every other journal I have, it has stuff stuck in here. What's this say? The antidote to grief and fear is gratitude. Well, that seems appropriate. I'll read you some quotes since, you're, since, you're, uh, since you came here for that. 
<laughs> you came here for a reading, right? <laughs> you can choose your friends, but not your family. That's really similar to my other my other quote on the other page, though. It's really similar. Well, it's similar to this one. You know, friends are God's apology for your family. It's kind of similar to that. I don't know. Not a, not the same, but similar. Um, Let's see. It's a good day to create. I love that one. And think big. Don't be afraid to touch the divine in your own life. Um, you're playing small. You're playing small does not serve the world. Who are you not to be great? That was by Nelson Mandela. Live the life you've imagined. Of course, we've heard that a bunch. I am ready for your... I can't even read it. I can't even read my own quote. Um, you're never too old to dream another dream or set another goal. That's a C.S. Lewis quote. Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does, by William James. In the end, there are only three things matter. How much you love, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. It's a Buddhist proverb. There's a proverb for you, Dawn, for your Buddha journal. What would I do if I weren't afraid? Um, there's another one in here that is one of my very favorites. But it's got little, this journal has little pockets and envelopes and junk in it. It really has a lot of junk. And these were, I found this thing of crazy bird stickers at Walmart. So I got those and stuck them in here. They don't have anything to do with anything. Um, the most challenging times bring... Uh, bring us the most empowering lessons. There's some good stuff in here. I should read this more often. Um, let's see. There's one in here. Okay, here it is. This is this is my all-time favorite quote. Okay. <laughs> they can be asking each other if anybody has a toilet paper. You know that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's kind of a good idea. Women are, apologies to uh, anyone who becomes offended by this. I think it's a funny, funny quote. Women are angels, and when someone breaks our wings, we simply continue to fly on a broomstick. We are flexible. <laughs> That's one of my very favorites. I love that one. So there's just little, there's nothing in most of these little envelopes. Because they're too darn hard to get stuff in and out of. Um, a lot of stitching on this. I don't know where these came from, but the crazy bird stickers I like. This is a little, um, vellum envelope. Crispy. It's crispy. Families are like fudge. Sweet with nuts. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one, too. <laughs> Except my family's not sweet. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? I'm just going through this because all of a sudden I thought you might want to see it. So you can see all my... This is probably the junkiest journal I ever made. Once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. And sometimes I write around the page. Sometimes I write upside down. There's still pages in here that need stuff written on them. Always know in your heart that you are far bigger than anything that can happen to you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, I love this one. Pretending to be normal day after day is exhausting. Isn't that the truth? <clears throat> Isn't that the truth? This has watercolor on here. That's what's on here. Is watercolor over gesso. Over um, security envelope pages. I haven't looked at this for a while. This is a 
pretty good little book I got going on here. And this was an envelope that somebody sent me, or they came on. It came on a. I think it came with a vase of flowers, and then I just put a bunch of ink on it and glued it in here. Sometimes words are not big enough to contain all the feelings you're trying to pour into them. Yeah, that's interesting. That's an interesting one. They're not very sturdy pages, I will tell you that. But there's, they've held up remarkably well. This is um, Tyvek that's on here. So there's a little bit of Tyvek. This was something that Dee Dee said. Dee Dee Willingham, postpone worry. I thought that was really good. <laughs> Donna Downey, those of you that know Donna Downey, said, just translate me as needed. <laughs> I like that one. Just translate me as needed. And uh, another uh, Mitzi that used to, we used to hang, uh, she used to stream once, uh, quite a bit actually, said, don't get stuck on stupid. Yeah, don't get stuck on stupid. That was a good one. So there's another little envelope. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's something in here, but it doesn't have anything on it. It's a little piece of a security envelope. I don't know why that's in there, but probably to keep the tape from sticking through it. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that little book made from leftover stuff. Okay. Well, I didn't find anything in there. So um, shall we stick these babies on here i think we should i think we should just stick them on here i think we should you think we should all in favor of putting these relatives on here a funny quote about families or a serious one i don't i don't know i'll know i'll know when it's the right quote <laughs> i'll know it's the right quote when it you know how it is sometimes you just go oh yeah that's the right one i don't know Okay. All right. Let's stick them on here. So I'm going to stick these on with the silicone glue too. Because it sticks right away. I don't know what the silicone glue does over time. I don't know if it turns yellow or whatever. But as we all know, it's an art journal. We don't care. We're just doing it just for fun. Just to have a chance to just hang out together, right? Just to hang out together. Okay, Mr. What's your name? We don't know who you are, but you are one funny looking dude. One funny looking dude. Hello, Charlie. Family is like a box, box, of, box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That is true. That is true. Stick it to him. <laughs> Stick it to him. Okay, so let's put, oh, find the mama and the dad. Now, see, some of these aren't going to fit within the picture frame. You know, they're going to be, they're going to kind of have their own, uh, they're going to fit more or less. Is Lizzie um, streaming tonight? Does anybody know Lizzie Brewer? I love Lizzie Brewer. She has the best sense of humor. Oh, Lizzie just started. Okay. Lizzie is a character. This poor guy is looking a little blind, so we're going to make his sparkle dot a little smaller. <sighs> sparkle dot gets too big or too close to the center of the eye. They look blind. Mm-hmm. This poor gal, she has got she has got a beak on her, doesn't she? 
She has got a beak on her face. It's all right. People come in all shapes and sizes and configurations, don't they? Clausman and I were talking about that today because um, when he carves a face, a Santa face, you know, he enjoys looking at people's um, profiles and features and so forth. Oh, they're kind of cute. All right, let's put you on here. Let's see how we want these guys to be arranged. Okay, well, we're going to put you on there, and you're going to kind of, he's going to kind of stick out of the frame a little bit. Sometimes words have two meanings, Robert, plant, and sometimes they don't mean nothing, Archie Bunker. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a good one. Sometimes words have two meanings, and sometimes they don't mean nothing. That's a good one. I do love quotes, clearly, because I have a whole book full of them. And I have other books, too. Whoop. Hopefully I got that muted. I may have to do it again. Mm-hmm. I hope that I didn't subject you to having your eardrums blown out by that. I have a friend who says her family tree is a bush. <laughs> yeah, my own personal family tree doesn't have a lot of branches in it. Uh, bush might be a, an accurate description. Those of you that have been hanging around me for a while know this already. My um, my mom and dad got married when they were 25. They uh, courted, as the saying goes, they courted for five years. And then they got married when they were 25. And, or maybe it was four years. I don't know, it was four or five. One or the other. And... Now my nose is going to run. I'll be right back. Anyway, they got married, and um, the same the same lady uh, was a midwife and delivered both my mom and my dad. She happened to be my mother's aunt, and she delivered helped deliver both of them as infants, you know, as newborns, which I thought was kind of an interesting situation. Any hoot. Um, after my mom and dad got married, my, okay, you got to stay with me here. Follow the plot. My mother's mother married my father's father. Um, let's see, did I, boy, I made that book a long time ago. I think so, Alicia. I mean, it, that book has been hanging around here for years. I think so. Yeah, so my mother's mother married my father's father. That was after they, each of their previous spouses passed away. And so they married each other. And so then my mom and dad were technically stepbrother and stepsister. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Yeah tell you it's a little it's a little sometimes there's just weirdness that goes on in families you know what I mean uh, yeah there's not a lot of branches 
Well, and then I'm from a family of five girls. I'm the youngest, and Claus Mann was married to the second to the oldest of my sisters. And she was killed in a, they weren't married for very many years. And she was killed in a car accident. And then somehow we ended up together and got married. So there's another there's another lack of branching in the family. But, you know, what we always said was we found a good man. We just kept him. And then my mother, you know, my mother moved in with us um, after my dad passed away. And at one point, Claus Mann said we were having dinner, to, all of us having dinner together one night. And my mom was commenting about that he'd married two of her daughters. <laughs> He said, he said, he said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but he didn't know he was going to, that he was going to marry the third one, which, you know, he didn't marry my mother, but she, he was responsible for, along with me. <laughs> she got the biggest kick out of that. She thought that was great because she loved being part of his family. She did. Okay, wait a minute, Becky. I, I got to read that after I get these on here so I can put the cap on this glue. So I got to read that. I just saw a little bit of it. Yeah, you know, families are all unique. And yet they're all the same. Just the names change. They're all, they're all unique and they're all the same. So you can see how some of these guys are um, hanging out of the frames and stuff, sticking above or hanging out or whatever, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. One more to stick on here, and then we'll probably call it, we'll chat a minute, and then we'll probably call it done for now, and then I'll do something with words. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow for sure. Um... The next page in this journal, let me put this, I'm going to have to put the lid on this glue. Hang on a minute. Don't do that. The one, th uh, the one thing about the silicone glue is that it doesn't dry flat. Tends to dry shiny. Sometimes you can roll it off, you know, roll it off the paper. I just got a little careless there, but I don't think you can see it. Just me. I can see it, but I don't think you guys can see it. I'm not going to give you a real close-up on that one. It's no worse than what I did over there. Okay, so let me put this away. <clears throat> Okay, so there is, um, there's the family all framed, they're all framed, and on the wall, and um, they're ready to have whatever else happens to them, uh, whatever that might be. I don't know what it'll be. We'll see. Okay, what did Becky say? Aunt on my mom's side married my grandfather on my father's side. Both second marriage is crazy, I think. Okay, my aunt on my mom's side married my grandfather on your father's side uh-huh not a lot of branches in that family either huh <clears throat> oh it's okay lauren thank you that was we've been married almost 47 years so it was very very it was a very very long time ago you know it's just part of the it's just part of the fabric of our lives it was a very long time ago now. I don't know. I'm thinking that they I'm thinking that they look pretty good, you know. <clears throat> so there you go. Okay. Um you think you think they look okay? <laughs> I think they make me laugh, so they make me laugh, so that's all that counts, right? They make you laugh. All right. Um so with that 
Oh, Paulina, oh, I'm glad you're making one of your own. Cindy has a story like that. We all, I'm telling you, um, families are all the same. They're all different. They're all unique, but they're all the same, and it's just, just the names that change. <laughs> okay, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And um, I will be back here if everything goes as planned. I will be back here tomorrow at my regular time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. I will send out social media stuff. If, you know, if everything works right, I'll send out social media messages through all the, the regular channels. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And I don't know what we'll do. We'll come up with something. Uh, what what we need to do is you need you guys need to just hang out with me and let me clean up the studio. <laughs> now that would be fun, wouldn't it? Okay, thank you everybody. I hope you have a wonderful, calm evening. I hope that this helps to have a place to hang out and just listen to the chit chat in the you know whatever flies into my head. And um, so enjoy your evening. And remember to get creative today. It does help. Creativity helps. Creativity heals. Highly recommend it. And I hope that you do exactly that. Get creative today because you know it's easy. See you guys next time. Bye.